Good evening, everybody. Today, I'm going to be presenting a presentation called Asteroid vs. Meteorite vs. Comet. All right, so what are we going to do today? So, number one, we're going to learn about asteroids, meteors, and comets, their similarities and their differences. We're also going to play um, video games, Comet and Asteroid. Okay, so what do they all have in common? So all th three of these objects are moving space objects. However, they're not identical objects. Asteroids, comets, and meteors are chunks of rock, ice, and metal left over from the formation of our solar system 4.6 billion years ago. They are a lot like a fossil record of our early solar system, and there are currently about 1.4 million known asteroids and more than 3,900 known comets, including comet fragments. Here is a 3D NASA exploration link. So here you have our sun. Mercury and all the other planets, and then you have these asteroids that all sort of fly around. These better be like, I think they're big asteroids, so that's why they, they have a number next to them. In reality, there are millions of asteroids in the space between Jupiter and Saturn. So an asteroid is a small rocky object that orbits the sun. A meteor is a small piece of an asteroid that hits Earth's surface. And a comet is a ball of ice and dust that orbits the sun. They're similar in that they orbit the sun, but they're also different. So here's what an asteroid is. In sp more specifically, they're space objects made out of nickel and iron mixed with various clays. They drift around space. Lots of these are found between Jupiter and Saturn. And with an asteroid hitting the Earth, dust and smoke rising in the sunlight prevents sunlight from reaching our world and causes temperature to drop. This event can lead to the death of millions of people and destroy the entire Earth. So when a meteor hits Earth, the impact can cause a variety of environmental effects that it can be catastrophic. So craters. So meteorites can create craters that are 12 to 20 times their size, depending on the speed, similar to those found on the moon. And the impact can also release shock waves. It can create heat radiation. And it can also trigger earthquakes, which can cause large sea ash waves. Tsunamis. If the impact hits a body of water, it can create tsunamis. The pressure blast can also destroy buildings and shatter windows. The impact will also eject debris into the air, which can rain down back onto the ground or spread through the wind. And if the impact hits land, it can throw a large amount of dust in the atmosphere. And if the impact hits water, it can increase the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere, which can lead to more rain, landslides, and mudslides. So comets are made out of ice and dust, and they leave trails. There's a famous comet named Halley's Comet that passes around the sun and is visible for several days of the year. I don't remember which days, but... Anyway, such effects can be shock waves, heat radiation, the formation of craters with associated earthquakes, and tsunamis if bodies of water are hit. Human populations are vulnerable to these effects if they live in the affected zone. Protection. So the atmosphere protects Earth from meteorites. 1,650 degrees C. Then the meteorite vaporizes and the liquid streams away. Most meteorites burn up before they reach the ground. So for example, you have this picture right here of I think the meteorite burning up. You have a comet here, and then you have a giant asteroid, which is probably going to destroy the Earth right here. So the main impact of hitting Earth is that it will probably destroy it if the asteroid is big enough. So for example, this entire paragraph is essentially explaining how the, a theory on how the dinosaurs died. So a really, really big asteroid crashed into the Earth and caused a crater 10 to 15 kilometers in the, and caused a crater that was about a lot of, a lot of kilometers. And the asteroid itself was 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter. Yeah. And rocks from deep within Earth's crust were raised 25 kilometers high and then rained down and killed all the dinosaurs due to all of the 
burning ash and the meteor fragments. Yeah. And that caused all the dinosaurs to die. And it left a crater of over 150 kilometers wide. All right. Thank you for your time. All right. Hello, everyone. So I'm going to be exploring the meteorites game. And essentially what you do in this game is it gives you a catalog of all the different meteorites that are currently in the world right now. So if I go to this one, for example, there's a doubtful meteorite in the Atlantic Ocean that might have landed in 1809 and may have a mass of 170 grams. So doubtful meteorite just essentially means we don't know if it exists yet and we haven't found it. And let me show you another example of a meteor. So right here, there's an impact crater of a of um in the city of Al Rulo, and it was found in and it was found um less than three hundred million years ago. So essentially, that's what that number means. And you also have another impact crater here, which was found around five hundred million years ago, in the city of Presquila. So, all right, so this is the last meteor. So over here, you have Ella Island, and essentially it's a meteor with a mass of 7,500 kilograms, which was found in 1971. And it says found in, found, meaning it was found. So we know there's a meteor there that was found. All right, I will now be moving on to the next game, which is the Asteroid Storms game. And essentially what you do in this game is you have to protect the Earth from these asteroids, which I talked about in the slideshow, and you have to destroy them in order to prevent Earth from being destroyed. So that's what I'm essentially doing right now, and it's a pretty, a pretty simple game overall. There's not really much to this. All right, so we also have a game, a bit more of a box game. All right, so today we learned about the distinction between asteroids, meteors, and comets. We learned about what each of them, like their significance is, and we even played a couple of games about meteorites, asteroids, and comets. So goodbye, everyone, and have a nice day.